So hello everyone, this is Akshay here and welcome back to the another great day of our purity streak of day 207. If you are new to this channel, please like, share and subscribe so that you can learn, maintain and grow a streak together. Let us read the today's question. The today's question name is Hands of Straight. It's a medium category question and I hope you have read the question as well. But let us read it together. So Alice has some cards. Each card has one number written on it. She wants to arrange the, rearrange the cards into the group so that each group of size uh, is of size group size okay so group size is a parameter that is given in the input and consists of the group size consecutive cards given an integer array hand of size n and the hand of i is the value written of the ith card so we have a third parameter as well that is the hand which represents the number of cards it has and the ith value is representing the value of a particular card and we have to return the true if she can arrange the cards or false otherwise okay so we have n equals to 9 group size equals to 3 we need to maintain a group size of 3 cards right and that should contain a consecutive uh, numbers right so as we can see in this particular example what they have done is they have they have made one group of 1 2 3 this 1 2 3 right and then they have made a group of 2 3 4 so this 2 3 4 and then they have made a group of 6, 7, 8. So as you can clearly see, what is the consecutive numbers? Consecutive numbers are the numbers which have a difference of 1. Right? If 6 and 7 are the consecutive numbers. 7 and 6 are the consecutive numbers. Like the ABS values of both the numbers X and Y should be equals to 1. Okay. Uh, okay. So how can we do this? Let's take a look at constraint. Constraint is our 10 power 5. So definitely we can use the logic of... Uh, we will start from where uh, if it is 10 power 5, then we can start thinking from n log n. If you don't go up, you will get a TLE. Right? So, either n log n, starting point, or you can go be, uh, below this. Either n, n root n, no, n, not n root n, uh, n root n, or even below log n on O1. Right? Okay, so what we are coming to understand is that first of all, these total elements, the total n, hai, let's say, is 9. Hai, right? And size is given as 3. So, we can see that this 9 can be divided into 3 groups. Like, how do I say 9 modulo 3 equals to 0? Then I can say, yeah, division is possible. How do I divide karenge? That is another thing. If size equals to, let's say, 4, ho jata, right? Then my 9 modulo 4 will not give you as 0, right? 0 nahi hota. So, that means the division itself is not possible. So, the first checking condition will be like this. That if n modulo group of size, if it's not equal to 0, then I will say return false, right? Okay, so this is this will be a first checking condition. Second checking condition would be कि हम क्या करें इसके साथ. अब हमें ऐसा चाहिए कि हमें इसको like one लिया तो हम two ही लेंगे, two लिया तो हम three ही लेंगे, ऐसा करेंगे, right? So definitely यहाँ पे एक sorted order maintain हो रहा है. है कि नहीं? अगर one लिया, then we cannot jump into three, onto three. <coughs> और अगर two let's say exist भी नहीं करता, तो one के बाद अगर sort करते हो तो three होता, but हम यहाँ पे check करते कि one plus one two आता, और ये three हो गया, तो हम कहते हैं कि return false. So what is our need? Our need is कि हमें sequential numbers चाहिए, sequential numbers, right? And the best way to produce that sequential numbers is to sort it, right? कि one के बाद हमें two ही मिले, sorting करके पता चल जाएगा, right? ठीक है, तो साथ ही साथ यहाँ पे मैं देख पा रहा हूँ कि duplicacy भी है, like numbers की two जो है वो multiple दो दो time present है, तो हमें वो भी maintain करना होगा, तो अगर हमें frequency maintain करनी है, sorting भी maintain करनी है, और दम से भी trade करके मैं answer निकालना है, तो the best data structure is what? Please think for a while and then come back to the video. Okay, so you were right, I guess. It is tree map where we can maintain the sorting as well as the frequency thing. So, if I suck with this, what will it be for 1? Frequency 1, 2 I have frequency 2, 3 I have frequency 3. No, not 3. It's again 2, right? It's again 2. 4 I have frequency 1. 5, there is no 5. There is 6 having frequency 1. 7, it's frequency 1. And 8, is it is frequency 1, right? We will now start iterating in our this tree map. In this tree map, we will start iterating our first. Ye jo first element hai, we can access that thing using the first key inbuilt function as well, right? If you don't remember, then there is no problem. We can directly iterate and save it. Okay? So let's say we have this thing as first. Now we want two more numbers, right? And that should be in the consecutive manner. So one ka jo consecutive next number will definitely two hi hoga, right? And where will we get the next numbers? Pe, right? Two. So, we have to do one, so we frequency 0. Similarly, again, 2 coat is frequency 1. Now, we have to keep on moving forward, right? Then, we have 3 coat and its frequency is 1. Right? Okay, so this is our group. Now, again, we will start from the top. 
अगेन वी विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द टॉप तो टॉप में क्या एलिमेंट है टू सो वी वी गेट टू एंड देन डिक्रीज इट फ्रीक्वेंसी टू जीरो वी गेट थ्री एंड देन अगेन डिक्रीज इट फ्रीक्वेंसी टू बाई बाई माइनस वन राइट सो वन गोज टू जीरो देन वी कम टू फोर एंड देन अगेन डिक्रीज इट फ्रीक्वेंसी बाई वन दैट गोज टू जीरो टू थ्री फोर इज अ सेकंड ग्रुप नाउ अगेन वी स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द टॉप राइट तो टॉप में सबसे एलिमेंट्स कौन से सबकी तो जीरो हो गई है तो जीरो होने के बाद सो देर इज सम मोर कंडीशन अगर ये जीरो हो जाता है देन रिमूव दैट पर्टिकुलर एंट्री फ्रॉम द मैप राइट so that would be removed this will be removed this will be and this will be removed right okay so now the first entry in in our tree map is 6 so i will take 6 and reduce its frequency by 1 then i will take the next element that is 7 i'll reduce frequency by 1 and then i'll take the 8 and reduce its frequency by 1 now why i am taking this element so jab bhi let's say humne koi first key nikala then uh group size to kitna bhi ho sakta right that is not defined in this case it is 3 but in some other cases it could be 4 6 7 8 something like that right so that definitely we have to run a for loop for here for phi i equals to 1 to i less than size i plus plus right and what would be our next element our next element is also defined that if it is 6 and i suppose i have stored it in a then my the second element that is b which is be nothing but i uh, a plus i right and i will check that if particular if this b uh, i'm declaring the map name as uh, m and if if this contains this key b right then we would take that particular thing right and we will decrease its frequency so if if it contains then decrease its frequency by 1 else agar it contains hi nahi hai agar 6 we have 6 and if we are searching for 7 right and if 7 is not there then group ban hi nahi sakta right so break it we have to break and in break since it's a boolean function so instead of break you can just say return false right that would be our pseudo code when we uh, do the iteration in our tree map or tree map iteration karne ke liye we can you can use a while loop as well that while our map is not empty so i have given you the pseudo code as well right so i hope the thing is very clear now that how are we going to approach this problem and how are we going to solve this uh, using the code as well right so this is particularly i'm talking about the java code let us start writing the code so the global steps let us decide the global step the first step is that we have to check the modulo thing if it is valid or not second thing we have to push it push every element in tree map why we know that right we need sorting and frequency as well third will be that we have to iterate in the tree map and then we have to form the groups theek hai okay let us do that so let us begin the coding now So please pause this video. Try to five to six minutes and try to code these steps. Okay, so I hope you are able to write at least the first two step, the pre-check condition and the putting all the elements with the frequency in TM. And if you are coding in Java, then it is most recommended to please memorize this function get or default. Right? A line may using just this first line, we can just uh, put the frequency. Right? And in C plus plus, it is very easy. Yeah. So I don't want to know about it. We will discuss the C plus plus code as well in the last. So okay. So the third step is to iterate in the tree map and form groups. So please pause this video again and try to code that step, and then we will resume. Okay, so here goes our third step. We are iterating until and unless our map is empty, right? And until and unless we are forming a group, right? Okay, so we are storing the first element of the tree map, that is the smallest element, using this m dot first key, and then we are iterating for uh, size minus one consecutive numbers, right? So that is why we need a for loop. So since a is the first key, since a is the first number of your group, let's say if a equals to one, then definitely the other number would be two, and that is why you are using this j, right? B the next number that is b is equals to a plus j, since I want the consecutive number, right? Now I will check if that b is present. If that b is present, that take that element and then reduce its frequency by one, right? And if you have taken that element and if frequency is reduced to zero, then you just remove that entry from there. That is not required, right? Because Uh, it will not contribute to next of the groups because frequency is zero now. And the, if the consecutive number is not present, then you just have to say return false. Possible he nahi hai. We cannot form the groups, right? Okay. <coughs> What next? Since we have taken the first key, since since we have uh, taken the first number using this first key, so we have to reduce that frequency as well, right? So after ending with the for loop, we can write this here that uh, uh, the same thing to put. Uh, using the put function a dot m dot get of a minus one, and if it's again equal to zero, you can remove it. So, can we write the same thing at line number forty-seven between forty-seven and forty-eight? This fifty-eight and fifty-nine. Please pause this and think again. 
So yes, you were right. We can write the same thing there as well. Let us see the compilation. The R expected and uh, your output matches. So let us hit the submit button. And before hitting the submit button, what would be the time complexity? Let us see that. Hmm. So our code is taking the time complexity of n log n. Definitely, we are putting all the things in the tree map. So uh, in tree map, putting or removing anything, it takes log n. Then we are doing for the n elements, so it would be n log n. Why log n it takes? Because a hash map take O of one. The reason behind it in the tree map, it uh, um, behind the scene it uses a red back tree, right? Which is a self balancing binary tree. So if in if you push or pop any element in a self balancing binary tree, it takes log of log of n time, and that is the reason it is maintaining the ascending or descending order as you ask. Like if you write a collection dot reverse order, then it will maintain you the descending order, right? Take a wo kuch extra in, that was some extra info. Let's just leave that. And then in this, while iterating in tree map and forming in the groups, we are again popping each and every. The worst case would be that we are popping each and every element from the map. So again, n log n plus n log n. Uh, that is two n log n. So if you remove the constant, it would be n log n. The time complexity, the space complexity will be using an O uh, tree map of size n. So that's, that will be O of n. And since the continuity is 10 power 5, so if you put 10 power 5 into log of 10 power 5, which is definitely less than 10 power 8, the code should get submitted. Now let us hit the submit button. And then we will visualize, we will see the C++ approach as well. So as you can see, all the test cases has been passed successfully. And I don't, I don't think there is um, any more approaches left for this question. If you have some other approaches as well, because this was the first approach we think we think of and it got submitted. So again, if you have some other, uh, what to say, other way also, please comment down in the uh, chat. Uh, please comment down in the comment section or else you can give me a PR for that if you have a new approach. So let us see the C++ now. Okay, so that's the C++ code and like <laughs> that, that is the reason sometimes the C++ the most users code in because it's uh, sometimes the syntax are very easy like you can clearly see that if you are just decrementing the frequency of uh, the particular key in the map then we can just write like an array that M big bracket of A minus minus but in Java you have to write a complete sentence, right? So yeah, that's the only change and you have to declare the map in the shortest form here and that's it. I hope you'll be able to relate it well the C++ users and let us end this video. Uh, till then, keep learning, keep growing, bye bye, and take care. Few last thing that that's my DSA repository. You can start and fork to get help with the source code. I have still not studied the pull request. I'll see to it here. Uh, don't get any <laughs> setback. I'll see to it and accept it. So, yeah, that's my Instagram channel. That's uh, DSA with Akshay. It's a public open account. You can clearly follow me and can ask me any doubts if you have. As well as that's my personal channel as well. It's Akshay. You can just follow me there for any guidance if you may have. You can see the journey of my placement as well and everything. Also, you can connect me on LinkedIn as well to uh, if you have any doubts and guidance, if you may have till then. Bye bye. Let's keep rolling and let's keep meeting in the next day of day 208. Till then, keep learning, keep growing, and take care. Or must speak, yeah.